Good morning. Gonna head out this morning down to uh, the Ray Miller Trail, which is a running trail. I'm not allowed to take this bike on. I'm gonna drop my wife off there, I'm meeting some friends from San Diego, Brian and Danielle. We go for a run with my wife. Then I'm gonna jot down to Sycamore Canyon and jump up and meet them up at the top on the fire road. Pre-sunrise takeoff. Pre-sunrise takeoff? Taken off before the sun rises. I guess that makes more sense. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, made it out here. The runners are off running. I'm gonna take off and go meet them up the trail. I switched the saddle to more of like a mountain biking trail saddle. I like that style more. For me, it's more comfortable. Funny, my my buddy's the opposite. He got a he got a, a lazy boy. Starting off with zero miles. He got a full charge, but for some reason lately the battery thing is starting off at three quarters or half. But then as soon as I start, it'll go to full charge. So whatever, it is full charge. All right, let's hit the trail. All right, well, hopefully my audio is better on this video than it has been in previous videos. I've had a different placement on my microphone and I'm hoping that it's going to block the wind noise. And I'll try not to talk, but I'm going mock free. Just got started out here on Sycamore Trail out of the Sycamore Canyon campground. Actually, I already passed the first trail off to my left. I think it's called Scenic Trail. I believe it is the second um, little trail that I'm looking for off to the left that will eventually take me up to the top, meet me up at the Ray Miller Trail. camera in one hand. Morning. Oh, I told them if they beat me here. I know I'm not going down that way. I've. Oh, I know. I've run this trail a hundred times. Thank you, though. I appreciate you informing me. There's always somebody, you know, that's going to have to tell you. Get, this is the Ray Miller Trail. It's a single track, as it was just pointed out to me. <laughs> There's no bikes on that trail. So, they are not here yet, those slow pokes.
you know, this seems like a great spot for me to leave my make it a great day. This time it's a $2 bill. I've never done that before. This is the first time I'm leaving a $2 bill. I'm going to leave it right underneath of this rock, on top of this rock. Oh, look at that. There's a radio. Here, I'll uh, weight down my $2 bill with these batteries so it doesn't fly away. There we go. Yeah, somebody will come up here and find that. Have a cool little $2 bill souvenir from their day. What an awesome bike. All right, slow pokes. So that is the Ray Miller Trail from above. I don't know if you can see that lady running on it. And it meanders its way down here. See some people coming up the path. All the way down into the valley, out, down at the beach. It gets you up here at elevation fairly quickly, but it does it in a nice a nice kind way. It's a it's definitely a runnable uh, trail. Fun. All right. They should be coming around the corner here pretty soon. There they are. Hello, friends. Knock this down into pedal assist one or zero, maybe. Maybe zero. No, one. This is a heavy bike to pedal without any kind of assistance. I don't think I'll do zero. Remember guys, keep it limited, 20 miles an hour, 750 watts. So this Wood Canyon Fire Road is 7 tenths of a mile, steep climb, whole way up. I cranked that thing on pedal assist 5 the entire way. The motor did not overheat or shut down or show any signs of weakness, I flew up that hill. He's an absolute monster. I love it. Good job, E-Cells. 
you made a great bike. All right, well, it turns out riding that aggressively down these hills doesn't come without a price. I started hearing a really bad rattle from the back. Noticed that the, the back battery was really loose in the rear. And you can see this plate has gone loose. The screws have gone through it. This is cracked completely through now here. This has become loose. Probably not a big deal. I can probably tighten this contact them and get a new rear battery plate. All right, look back out. I keep it mellow so I don't do any more damage than I've already done to it. It's definitely still viable. What's funny is this morning before I left, I looked at the new bundle of zip ties that I just got on Amazon. And I thought about grabbing a few the really big ones, just in case. I didn't know why, I just thought, I'm going to grab them. I'm wearing a backpack. It's not like I don't have the room for them. They don't weigh anything. But for some dumb reason, I said, ah, nah, I don't need them. That's what I got to need zip ties for. If I had a couple of big zip ties right now, I could cinch that back part of the battery down. It's bouncing up and down, and it would not bounce up and down. There's a like, totally see a way that I could absolutely cinch it down. Isn't that how it goes? Oh well. Next time I'll bring zip ties with me and I will not need them. And I'll keep zip ties in my backpack here forevermore. I'll never probably run into a situation where I need them. I needed them today. Good morning. bottom bracket water. That'll be the water test for today. Neptune's net. Hey, 
that'll be good for me. You gotta turn around and head back and meet the rest of the group. They should be coming back from their run now. Good ride. I've got 23.4 miles in so far. 60.9 volts still left. So good amount of battery still left. What is a good amount of battery? That's a good question. What is a good amount of battery? 60. That says 61 volts now that I've been resting here. 61.4 volts is 70 percent. So. Let's call it 69% because that's cool. 69% battery left. Let's head on back. my top and head back down I apologize ahead of time for the wind noise this is gonna get bad going down this steep hill but I kind of want to holler out my uh, my top speed that I get to so 